A few weeks have passed since the incident at their church. Things have been pretty quiet since then. I have been focusing on my schoolwork. Shana mostly sits in her room playing video games. I want to find a way to get closer to my roommate. Nah, I don't think so. There's so much I want to know about her, but I don't know how to go about it. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> Clean the house again and maybe she will definitely talk to me. But this time I'll try something special. Cook for her breakfast. Maybe I can make something Shana will enjoy. No sooner have I started than she emerged from her cave. Oh my, what is that delicious smell? Did you make all this shifu? Yeah, I had some time before my next class so I figure I make something nice, you know, for you. Breakfast. It seems like a lot of work. Would it cause you too much trouble if I ask to help? Um, huh? You want to actually cook with me? Yeah, I never learned how to properly cook for myself, but it seems like it would be a useful skill to learn. Well, if you want to scramble the eggs while I fry the bacon, I would definitely appreciate the help. I show Shana around the kitchen and the two of us end up making a fantastic breakfast. Wow, these eggs turned out better than I thought they would be. Thanks for letting me help Shifu. I would like to help out more in the future too. Sure. At least you know how to survive then. Oh Shifu, before I forget, something came into the mail for you yesterday. I apologize for forgetting to tell you until now. Um, it's alright. Just. Just let me see the mail. Alright, is it from Tiana I think? She hands me the letter and I open it with a bright smile on my face. Oh wow, this is from my grandmother. It looks like she wants to she wants me to come back home next weekend for the long holiday. I used to live with my grandma before I moved to the city for college. What about your parents? I pause for a moment, realizing I haven't really talked about my childhood with Shana yet. Maybe now is a good time for us to get to know each other better. If, like I said, as always, it, it requires me premium option to talk about my childhood, I'll definitely say no. My parents died in a car crash when I was pretty young, you know, Shana. I hardly remember them. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that, Shifu. That must be you know, really awful for you. My grandmother, Hanayo, took me afterwards. She was always good to me, so I was never lonely. I love my grandmother dearly, but things have gotten complicated recently. Hmm, how so? She seems genuinely interested in learning more about me. Maybe she's not the introvert uh, recluse everyone thinks she is? I actually come from a relatively wealthy family. Grandmother Hanayo has a small fortune in her name. While that might sound pretty cool, money has actually torn my family apart. Now that my grandmother is getting older, my other relatives keep fighting over who gets her inheritance. Greed has turned them all into selfish, cold-hearted people. I don't really like being around them. It's a part of the reason why I chose to move to the city for college. Money does have a tendency to change people, you know, Shifu. Hopefully this matter can be reconciled in a fair and peaceful manner. I look back at the letter in my hand and continue reading the rest of the content. Huh, that is interesting. What it is? The letter says that she will be finally telling us who will be receiving her inheritance next weekend. Really? Is that a really good thing? Maybe it will stop everyone fighting. But knowing my grandmother, it won't be as easy as just showing up and listening to her will. I can't help but smile as I reread. I mean reread, is it a reread? I think it's reread the letter again. She has always had a fondness for mysteries, so I'm sure it will be an interesting weekend regardless of the outcome. Shana's eyes start to sparkle as she takes a step towards me. I know exactly what's going to happen. You are going to turn up, solve a mystery and then inherit her fortune. That sounds like a plot from a detective novel. Yep, I wonder what you're doing. But whoa, <laughs> Shana is like glowing. <laughs> Alright. And while it sounds fun, I'm not going. Huh? I'm not going? What? Why not? Well, um, too much drama. I really don't want to deal with the drama. Um, in real life, I really don't want to deal with the drama as well. You know, I just hate drama. 
I just want to live a normal life without worrying about all that. Ah, I see. Don't you want to meet everyone? Of course. It's just, you know, a lot of trouble right now. Shana smiles at me. You really are a kind-hearted person, Shifu. Even so, I think you should participate. Maybe your relative will stop fighting amongst themselves once the inheritor has been chosen. And if your grandmother is as interested in mystery as you say she is, there is no way she is going to miss this chance to test everyone. Um, you, do you think so? Besides, if the money doesn't interest you, you can always donate it to the charity. For a second there, I thought Shana would say, if the money doesn't interest you, you can always donate it to me. I was like, I'm going to slap her. <laughs> But it, she doesn't say that. Okay, sounds sounds fair. That will stop your relative fighting and serve a purpose for the community. That's not a bad idea actually. And they also stop harassing grandmother Hanayo about it too. Alright, I'll be rooting for you Shifu. I believe in you. Uh, thank you, you know. Uh, I never knew that you can change so much, you know, Shana. Something tells me I'm going to need help. My grandmother is incredibly clever. She will make it as hard as possible. I could really use someone on my side with a knack for solving mysteries. Is it against the rules to get outside help? This isn't the time to worry about rules. I see. So why, who do you have in mind to accompany you? Definitely you, okay? I agree at Shana. It takes a moment for her to reply. I would love to to go with you. Thank you for inviting me, Shifu. There's just one problem though. What's that? I don't have a car. <laughs> and I don't have a driving license too. Oh, I see. How do you propose we get there? Well, we could take a train. Shana taps a chain in talk. Well, why don't you ask Rina if she is free? I'm sure she wouldn't mind driving us there if you ask. She has plenty of vacation saved up and she owes me. I like the way you think, Shana. I'll give her a call. I dial Rina's number on my cell phone, but she doesn't pick up. You ring LOL. <laughs> LOL? I have a question. Where are you? Coffee shop. Finish work. Gonna be a while. You can come over if you want. I look down at my watch. There's plenty of time before my next class. Definitely, it might be better to ask Rina something like this in person. Not to mention, it is a good opportunity to spend some time along with her. Um, she's not my girlfriend yet. Why would I spend some time unless, of course, I have like a crush on her? But yeah, let's continue. Should I meet Rina for coffee? Wow, my god. This is like a surprise. Politely decline. As fun as it sounds to meet Rina um, for coffee, I don't think I should push my luck. If I ended being late for class, it could really affect my overall grade. Sorry I have got class. Shana is going to call in favor though. Sounds ominous. I'll talk to her later then. I've let her know that you are going to talk to her and call in some favors. Don't worry, even after the trip, she steals all me. She will forever be in my death. <laughs> okay, okay. She looks surprisingly proud despite how evil she sounds right now. Yeah, I was thinking about a word, I, I forgot about it, but evil is the right way to describe her right now. You should hurry on to class. You don't want to be late. Yeah, I'll catch you later then, um, Shana. Hmm, Shana has been pretty um, outgoing and I love it. Friday gets here a lot quicker than anticipated. Finally, we are ready to hit the road and head to Shikoku. I'm really excited to see grandmother Hanayo again, and I also can't wait to see what she has got in store for us. Rina arrives at mine and Shana's house just before dawn, and we all start loading our bags into the car. Um, um, Rina's outfit is okay, but her eyes is just 10 over 10. It's like emerald, shining, sparkling with those um, gingerly hair. Just beautiful. Okay, let's continue. Man, I really need a vacation. Do you think we have a chance to go to the hot spring? Our primary reason for going to Shikoku is to help Shifu get rich. <laughs> oh, I did not expect that her to say that. 
There may not be a lot of time for sightseeing. Rina looks crushed. Maybe we can go on the way back? I'm not going to drag you girls all the way out to Shikoku and not let you have a good time. Don't worry. Both Rina and Shana start excitedly talking about everything they would like to see and do. Neither of them notice the visitor walking up to us on the street. Ah, it's Tiana. Hey Tiana, I'm glad you have come after. Upon hearing the name of her arch and nemesis, Shana instantly frees. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't miss you guys. Do you have room for one more? Why, why did you suddenly appear? We didn't invite you. But hey, it's alright. Shana's ice cold glare goes from her rival to me. I was wondering, Shana, why are you wearing this kind of outfit? It looks really dorky, I think. Is there something you would care to explain, Shifu? Why is that devil woman here? <laughs> devil woman? That's a bold thing to say about the person who saved your life. I laugh nervously as I feel a drop of cold sweat slide down the back of my neck. I knew I should have said something earlier, but I was too scared to bring it up until now. Uh, I actually invited Tiana to come with us. What? Why would I do that actually? We got to talk about my grandmother and it's just kind of happened. I mean, what I said about my grandmother's loving mystery, there's definitely going to be one, probably. The more people I have on my side, the better. Yeah, Shifu knows better than anyone that I'm the best person for the job. He should have just asked me first instead of dragging you two into this. I will have the puzzle solved all by myself in no time at all. Why you cocky litter? Both girls break out into another loud argument and I shoot Rina an apologetic look. Sorry Rina. Sorry. I know Shana doesn't like Tiana very much but I wanted to invite her along too. I hope it's not too much trouble that I took the liberty of asking her without you know, consulting you first Rina. Rina laughs, shaking her head. Not at all. I think it's a great idea for Koga-san to come along with us. She lowers her voice and whispers quietly to me. Maybe it will be a good idea for Shana and Tiana to spend more time together. I thought the same thing too actually. I had hoped maybe they would start getting along better if they were forced to work together for a bit. I like the way you think Shifu. Of course, I think Shana won't see things the way we do. Not yet, at least. Rina steps between the girls and begins mediating. Tiana stands to one side and irritates scowls on her pretty face. Maybe I shouldn't have decided to come. I reach into my bag and pull out a small stuffed teddy bear that's dressed up like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> the teddy bear <laughs> looks so funny. She saved our life the other day. It's the least I can do. It may be a little cheesy, but I hope she will accept my gift. What should I do? Ah, uh, No, I'm not gonna give her. Sorry. Maybe some other time. I really want to give Tiana the present I got for her, but now is maybe not the right time since Shana is there. Okay. The other girls are nearby and it might embarrass her too much if I give it to her right now. You are staring at me, Shifu. Is there something you need? I keep the teddy bear hidden behind my back and shake my head. No, it's nothing. Alright then. Let's stop wasting time and get this show on the road.